Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today we will create a small Maven project to perform a performance testing with Selenium WebDriver. We will create the project from the scratch. So first let's go and create a Maven project. So let's open command prompt and if you want to know that how to create a Maven project from command prompt, please check my past videos I have explained there. So there is a command we have to run to create the Maven project over here. But before that, let's check what is our Maven version installed. Once you type MVN dash version, it will show you the Maven version installed in your system. So currently we have Apache Maven 3.0. 6.3 version installed in our system. Now we will run a Maven command to create a project. To get that command, let's go to our GitHub repository. Browse github.com slash AWS tech guide slash script. Under that, you will get create Maven project CMD. Just click over there, click on raw, and you will get this command to run in your command prompt. So just copy it, open command window, paste it. Now before clicking enter, let's change the name. So I'm changing the group ID, which is com.awstakeguide.automation. and the artifact ID to functional testing, functional test and click on enter. Command has successfully executed. So let's go to our directory and this project has been created. As you see, it has created the POM XML SRC folder, main test. Let's go back to our POM, open this POM. And by default, it has only added this JUnit dependency. Now for our Selenium WebDriver test, we will be adding few more dependency. So I'm just copying the dependency from here, from the same repository. I'm just copying the dependency from here. First one is test ng, adding it here. Next is Selenium Java. Only these two dependencies. Let's save it. And now let's open our Eclipse and import this newly created project. Go to file, click import, search existing Maven projects, click next, give the project path. It is already selected, click on finish. As you see that it has imported our project. Let's go to our test package and by default app test.java is created. Now here we will write our test method. Before going further, let me tell you what we are going to test. We will be creating a test method which will open Google in the browser and check whether the title of the browser or the website it has opened it has Google name in it or not. So programmatically, it will open Google. Otherwise, manually, if you want to open Google, definitely you will create your Chrome browser over here and type google.com, enter, it will open and it will say Google in the tab. But we will do all these things automatically through Selenium WebDriver. So let's go and 
write the test method. For this task, we will need wave driver class. So, so declare a wave driver class first, import the package from org.openqa.selenium. Now declare a string URL, which is actually going to be our Google URL. Now our next part is let's create a setup method first where we will be initializing the driver import the package again perfect and we want this setup method to be called first once the class gets initialized so the annotation is before class Let's import the package for the annotation and select the org test ng annotation. Now write the actual test method over here. And what we want to do here, we will navigate to the URL first. So driver dot navigate dot to and the URL. So it will navigate to the google.com url first after that it will capture the title from that url so dot get title let's use one assert google and to check the get title separately let's give one sys out here over here so it will print what actually it has got from the browser title Let's create one more method and call quit over here. So after executing this test method, it should call this teardown method. So it is after class. Select the ng test annotation. Perfect. Now we are almost done. Create convert to test ng. The default name of the test XML is testing.xml here. And click on finish. Well, now we have to add one more thing in test setup. That is mentioning our web driver in system property. So let's add that system property that is system dot set property web driver and we have to mention the chrome driver exe file path from your system so let's save it and how will you get this chrome driver so let's copy it and open the second link which says download chrome driver and it has multiple version of Chrome, 80, 81, 83. So check which version you have in your Chrome. How can you check? Click these three dots, go to help, click on about Google Chrome, and it will show you that which version it is installed in your system. So it is showing version 81.0.4044 is installed in your system. So let's go back and just download this 81 click on that and since it is my windows system depends on your operating system you download this zip unzip it paste it here copy the directory path add it here again copy the name of the exe file Add it here, exe, save it. Now, this assert dot assert equal, it's showing deprecated. So it is due to the package we have imported. So let's see which package is had imported. It has imported junit.framework. Let's remove it and again select the package from org junit. So let's double click over here and right click run as and as we see that actually we are using test ng 
for this test case but it is not showing the test ng option so it means that the test annotation we have provided it is not from the test ng annotation so let's see where it is from it is coming from j unit test that's why so i'm just removing this package now coming again here and click here and select test ng annotation perfect and now double click over here right click run as test ng test click it and see it will automatically open chrome browser and close down and in console it has written title google because we did sys out for what is the title it is actually getting and our assert statement was also passed so we have successfully created a very small functional test which will invoke this url google.com and will check that what is the title of that website it has and will print it now our next step is make it little bit more complex so we will be creating one more test method so it will be like test url2 we will be creating and now this time we will be using a different url and that is for our amazon that is amazon.cl let's use it now our main aim is little bit similar we will again navigate to the url2 we will not get the title this time we will get the css selected this time by xpath now let me tell you I am not covering the detail of functional testing by CSS selector or by XPath in this tutorial. It is a very small tutorial for the first time functional testers. So you will be able to set up your workspace, create a small code and start with your functional testing. You will get the flavor of functional testing. Now you will learn more. Now you can proceed detail into functional testing so i am just showing you that what is our next step i'm just opening amazon.ca so my functional test will be that it will automatically open amazon.ca and in this search bar as you are see seeing this search bar it should write surface pro 7 it means that suppose I am trying to create one functional testing which will automatically search Surface Pro 7 and after writing Surface Pro 7 automatically here it will click on this search button. So how can I do this? As I have opened this Amazon.ca now I have clicked on this search search box right click click on inspect and as I inspect I see this is the element of this search box there is something called X path in selenium functional testing so let's go back to our workspace here I am writing driver dot find by element And inside element, it is by dot xpath. And my xpath expression is a little bit different. Let me show you how to write it. We are trying to target this search box. So it is an input type search box where the type equal to text. So what I am going to write it here is double slash input square bracket at type equals to 
text now it will pick up that particular search box element now what we will do we want that we have to write surface pro 7 in that search box so dot send keys and write surface pro 7 inside it so it this line of code the function of this line of code is basically find the element which has this input type equal to text as you see this input type equal to text and it will type surface pro 7 over here and now we have to click on this search button right so again right click on the search click on inspect and see this is the type equal to submit so we are copying these lines once again and just quickly writing submit and after submit once we get this type equal to submit what do we want to do just dot click because we want to click right so i am commenting out this driver dot quit because otherwise after doing this search it will automatically close close the browser so i don't want to close the browser as of now now i am just running this test method run as test ng and see how automatically it opens chrome browser browse amazon.ca write surface pro 7 in the search box click on the search button and list up all the surface pro product into that so i am just clicking on test ng test okay one thing we missed we have to write this test over here because it is another test method perfect so right click on that click on ng test it has started it is opening this chrome browser now opening amazon.ca now writing surface pro 7 and clicked on the search button and as you see that it has listed all the products of surface pro as you manually search so now i'm just showing you that closing this browser and what happens if i uncomment this drought driver dot quit so if i run this now what it will do it will do all these things and quickly close the browser so you will not be able to see the output open the chrome browser browsed amazon.ca searched surface pro searched and thus closed it so today we have learned how to create a very small functional testing with selenium web driver it is not a detailed understanding of how selenium works or how this find element expert works but it gives you a basic understanding and how to set up your workspace to perform a functional testing for the application you want to test now in our next lecture we will go ahead to show you the next part of the functional testing because when you will be automating this functional testing you will not want every time to open the browser and do this navigation so you don't want to open the browser but still you want to perform this functional testing so once you are integrating with your jenkins it will not open the browser but you want to perform this functional testing before you deploy your application to production so in our next lecture i will show you how to do that see you in our next lecture thank you Yeah.